Welcome back to Remove Weapon Review. Today we're going to be talking about the regen coil. Now back then, TC2 had three coils. The speed coil, the gravity coil, and the regen coil. The speed coil gave you speed in exchange for having a damage vulnerability. The gravity coil let you jump higher and gave you more mobility while airborne in exchange for speed. And finally, we got the regen coil. The stats of the regen coil were as followed. When the weapon is active, you would gain plus 8 health per second. The downside of a minus 25% damage penalty and a minus 100% overheal penalty. The upside of 8 health regenerated per second really didn't make up for the downsides. And the reason is as It's Me Luke said, The reason is because you'd lose the ability to overheal. That sucks. By the way, go check out It's Me Luke. Link is in the description. Anyway, back to the video. That one downside alone completely ruined the weapon's potential. However, this downside could help out medics by helping them build uber and spawn, which is probably the only reason why people used it. Also, the regen wasn't terrible, especially if you pair it up with the Dalakos bar. But I'm, I'm really not joking, it, it seriously sucks. Like, even Brute agrees. The regen coil sucks! Sorry that this was a shorter video than normal, but I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please make sure to like and subscribe as it helps me out a lot. Thank you and goodbye.